So I would say that I am a wisdom tooth because I am somewhat wise. <laughs> Hi, my name's Dr. Sarinda. I'm a general dentist from the UK, currently based in Singapore. Some of the things that may show up in pregnancy include bleeding gums. This is also known as gingivitis or periodontitis. You get bleeding around the gum area due to hormonal changes in the body. In addition to this, some of the other areas we can look at are swellings in between the gums. They can be a little bit irritating but usually resolve once pregnancy is over. Morning sickness can cause acid to come up from the stomach. This can lead to acid erosion inside the mouth where the tooth surface starts to wear away. This is irreversible so we want to monitor this closely. The teeth can become a little bit wobbly or mobile during pregnancy due to the changes of the structures around the teeth in the mouth. You may notice creamy lesions on the palate or other surfaces inside the mouth. They can be red or sore. This is usually due to changes in the oral microbiome and changes in the immune system. Imbalance in the mouth can mean imbalance in the body. When we are trying to conceive, we generally look at several factors including nutrition, lifestyle and stress. One area that is generally overlooked is oral health. There can be infections or disease in the mouth that affect the rest of the body and can affect your baby. We try and avoid taking any kind of dental x-rays or carrying out extensive treatment inside the mouth. We examine the gums, the teeth, check for any grinding or erosion or wearing of the teeth inside the mouth. I also look into the breathing aspects. From there, we customize a treatment plan tailored to yourself to get you on the road to a healthy mouth before you conceive and before you have your baby. I strongly advise brushing twice a day, scraping the tongue to remove the bacteria that sits on the tongue, interdental cleaning to remove the plaque and deposits of bacteria in between the teeth, and load up on your fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E and K2. 